Because where has your girl been? Where has the time gone? Higher, higher, fly. Hey everybody, my name is Kara Alexander. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in for a new video. In today's video, I'm just going to be going over like a little a life update. Also, a who am I for the new subscribers. Just to kind of like fill you guys in. I've been gone for a minute. Um, also, with my old videos, I was pretty much just doing hair. So I kind of just wanted to come on here and introduce myself for the ones that don't know me. And I also wanted to kind of fill you guys in for the ones that do know me on where have I been. Because your girl has not been posting in a long time long time and a lot a lot has happened since my last video girl i got a lot a lot to tell you ones that don't know me my name is kira alexander i am from miami florida the sunny 305 and i am 24 years old my birthday was recently not too recent but recent enough okay um <laughs> my birthday was march 20th i'm a 90s baby born in 1999 so I'm 24 years old and I had a very a great birthday. I went skydiving, which was phenomenal, 10 out of 10. It was one of the things that were on my bucket list for the longest time. And although I wanted to do it in Dubai first, I'm gonna do it soon, but I still wanted to just go and something was just in my heart. Like I really just wanted to jump out of a plane. <laughs> and I know that sounds so crazy, but it was just kind of like, this year has just been like, faith over fear and I just been trying to do things just out of my norm things that I've really been wanting to do now more than ever I've just been stepping out on faith trying new things so I went ahead and did the biggest thing that was on my list and I jumped out of a plane which is the best experience I had one of my friends come with me her name is Hazel and she came with me and we just had a great day to be honest it was very cold colder than I expected but I had a great day nonetheless jumping out the plane it was one of those things where the scariest part of it was riding the plane to jump but once I jumped it was kind of like it felt surreal like it felt I don't even know how to explain it like I just didn't feel like I was actually there like it just I wanted to see everything and I just kept looking around like I cannot believe I just did this and it just it didn't have a falling feeling it was very cold though and I would say you do go to definitely go in the summertime I definitely recommend it to everybody that I know to definitely try to go skydiving it is the greatest experience you literally feel like you're flying and floating <laughs> Skydiving is a really interesting confront with fear. So you get onto the airplane and you're sitting there and, and you know, it's extra because you're sitting on some dude's lap, some stranger. <laughs> so you fly and you go up to 14,000 feet. And We're about halfway up, right? We're about halfway up. We're going higher. We're going higher. Yeah. You ready for this? I'm so ready. It was at this moment that he knew. Walks you up and you're looking down to death. Terror, 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 terror. They say on three, one, and he pushes you on two because people grab on three. And you fall out of the airplane, and in one second, you realize that it's the most blissful experience of your life. Realize that the point of maximum danger is the point of minimum fear. And God placed the best things in life on the other side of fear. Yes, so skydiving was a 10 out of 10. I would recommend it to anyone. If you've been wanting to do it or it's been on your list, this is your sign. Definitely sign up. Definitely do it this summer. It's warm outside. It's beautiful. So it's the perfect time to do it. It was the greatest experience of my lifetime. I also had a dinner with my mom and I just hanged out with my friends. Just had a really good intimate birthday this year. And then I also went to the jazz bar. If you don't know, now you know, I love going to see live music. I am a jazz girly. If you're in the Orlando area, I would definitely recommend going to jazz tastings. It's one of my favorite spots to go to. <sighs> Happy 
cultured mixed races and that would go for myself as well i am jamaican and puerto rican for anybody that is wondering my dad is jamaican and my mother is puerto rican so they made me <laughs> one of the biggest things that has happened to me since my last youtube video was i finally graduated from the university of central florida with my bachelor's in business marketing so i'm super happy to have finally completed that chapter and i'm gonna say it was a mix situation i would say it was definitely a roller coaster um college was one of those things where it was definitely amazing i got to meet a lot of people it was great in that aspect but i definitely went through a lot in college so finally being able to make it to this point i never seen the day coming as far as me graduating because i also you know was in college during the pandemic i also had just life life was throwing its different curveballs at me in college i must say i am very grateful to god that i made it to this point summer 2022 i was in grind mode i took like five classes i had about 10 classes left so I was really grinding it out because I was not, <laughs> not going to graduate. Um, but did I say 2022? Yeah. I'm like, I don't even know what year we're in. <laughs> I took five classes in the summer. And if you've ever taken any college classes, five in the summer is a lot. Five was enough. I had split it up to where I was taking like two in summer A, two in summer B, and one on the overall summer course. But it definitely was a lot on me to do all of those classes then. And then I pounded it out, you know, five other classes in the fall semester following that. And I really got it done. I'm not going to lie. Like I put my pen to that paper and I was not messing around because I really wanted to graduate in the time that I wanted to. All my friends were graduating with me and I just wanted to be a part of that with my homegirls. So it was just really nice to get to also do that with them. I'm just so grateful to God and I honestly give all glory to him. Really pray to God and honestly put the work in in all things are going to work out for your good and i promise you that and i'm so grateful to be at where i am now so post-grad life has been amazing i've just been working on a few different things such as coming back to youtube such as my business which i'll be talking about a little bit later but finally finished school and that that was a journey Sierra Alexander, India Cheyenne, Asia India. questions I have is what inspired me to become a designer now this this goes back okay this goes back I am one of the girls that grew up with brats I grew up with my scene and if you know you know what I'm talking about I loved seeing all the dolls wearing their really cute outfits and I used to always dress up my dolls or I would rip their clothes and kind of like make it something new where I learned to sew was my grandma my grandma had these like soap bottles and then she would like sew dresses for the soap bottle. And I thought it was so cool and unique. So I asked my grandma to show me how to sew. Giving me like fabric so I could make them at home. 
so from there i just got like a sketchbook i would just keep drawing i would draw like all types of really magnificent prom gowns and like beautiful wedding dresses but my family is the type of family it was like you're not stepping out the house look in any kind of way you get what i'm saying like you're coming out the house and you gonna look like somebody like always put in modeling from a young age so it just it kind of just worked and it always just kind of blended for me so i just really love everything fashion just getting dressed up that's my favorite part of the day like, and when i get to look at how i'm looking and how i'm stepping for the day it just builds my confidence so yeah that essentially inspired me to become a designer how would i describe my upcoming brand so i'm so excited to kind of premiere this new idea so i am coming out with a new swimwear brand currently i've been working on this for a very long time i've had the idea for a while i just love going to the beach it's one of my favorite things to do i love being at the beach i love just relaxing i love going on vacation so i've just been putting together a brand of vacation wear that is very inclusive and body positive my family and my friends are of all shapes and sizes and i really want my brand to broadcast that i really want my brand to show people that they can be sexy and beautiful um in the shapes and forms that they've been made in and i really want everybody to feel comfortable in their own skin so that is something i'm very excited to be putting out very very soon i will link my instagram page for my brand down below if you guys wanted to you know follow that for any updates i would definitely highly encourage you and i'll also appreciate it if you guys do just to see what i'm coming out with what is my favorite book and i have two that i brought today no three we gonna bring out the first one let me tell you something the best book the only book i am reading through the bible from the beginning to the end i did start in john which was the the god one of the four gospels but then i just decided after i read the full ch um, book of john that i wanted to start from the beginning and boy oh boy when i tell you this is <laughs> wild these stories in this bible is crazy to me like i honestly did not know this is how it's getting down so i really do encourage this is a really great book i saw a few bibles actually at the dollar store i don't know why the, they were at the dollar store but honestly that just shows you how available they are to you um if you really want to grow a closer relationship to god and allowing his word to speak to you i would definitely advise getting a bible and for me i read it from the i'm reading it from the beginning to the end you can start with the four gospels which is matthew mark luke and john um but personally i just wanted to start from the beginning so i can have a full understanding from the old testament to the new testament of everything that is going on so i actually do have a book page called that girl reads and it was just a point in my life i was just picking up books and i'm reading books within two three days it's the current book i'm reading with my book club and the book club is called book babes and it's called before i let go by kennedy ryan i've seen this book all over tiktok a hundred times so i definitely wanted to give this book a shot um started out pretty slow but i'm really enjoying it i haven't finished it yet but i've heard nothing but great things on this book and i'm just really excited to finish it because it's just look at the cover like so beautiful if you are interested in joining my book club definitely follow that girl reads and all of this information is going to be down below in the description box but if you are a book girly and a book nerd definitely follow the page because i always post all the books that i'm reading other than just the book club and then if you wanted to join the book club you're also welcome to do so another book i want to mention is a book i got from the library do not sleep on your local library okay because my library literally will ship the book to you deliver it to your house and all you have to do is return it in the sh you know the drop shipping i got this book which is also another fan fave is seven days in june by tia williams and when i tell you this book had me feeling all the ways 
so 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 good i really 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 love this book so i just finished this one actually like two weeks ago and i have to return it but i did want to show y'all this is a really really good book and if you are a book girly as i said definitely add this to your collection who inspires me and this is a really great question i would say number one person that inspires me is my mother she is so resilient so beautiful so endearing she just has a big heart i just love her so much and i'm just so proud of her um, my mom recently graduated with her bachelor's degree and i'm just so proud because knowing where we came from and where she is now she's living my dream this girl is traveling she's living her life okay and i love it literally lives on the beach which is why i'm always over there <laughs> i'm always over at her house because she literally lives on the beach and it's just she's living my, my dream 100 percent inspires me she literally carried me um and had me at 16 to where she is now like raising two kids by the age of 18 is wild i couldn't even imagine me at my big age of 24 having two kids right now i could not imagine it so just her grace and her resilience for turning her life around and just really pounding the pavement and making things happen and making things work for herself is just very inspiring i'm so glad that she was able to graduate because she worked really hard for that how you feel how you feel i feel great I feel graduated. <laughs> she did that. You know what I'm saying? She did that. And if she didn't do that, I wouldn't be here. So I'm just so grateful for her. And I would definitely say she's the number one person that inspires me. Do you believe you are an introvert or extrovert? This is a funny question because I think I'm both in one. I'm an introverted extrovert. It really just depends on the day that you caught me. That's what it depends on. What brings me peace and how do I handle stress and loneliness? So as far as peace, as far as places I like to go that allow me to breathe and really allow me to take in the atmosphere is the beach and the park. I really love my beach days and my park days. Just everything that is created on earth, God created it. And it's just so beautiful. Like I feel like with the day and age that we are in now, we are so glued to our phones. Nobody ever really takes the time to really look outside, look at the trees stop and smell the roses like life is beautiful like i am so in awe i go to the same park every single time and every time that i go to the park i'm just amazed at all the new things that i'm seeing at this park even though i've done been there a thousand times because there's something always happening like the world is just so beautiful the trees is just so green the sky is just so blue it's just it's gorgeous out here like it is really beautiful and i love being outside stress i'm not in a stressed place right now honestly just knowing the greatness of god like knowing that that moment is just a moment and it shall pass like i am not my life is not going to be defined by this one bad moment i am going to have greater i'm going to become greater i'm going to have better things i'm going to be in a better place and just having that mindset that this is just a moment this is just going to be what it is right now and i just need to do my best to get through this time and i'm gonna be better at the end of this that's what allows me to get through that loneliness honestly listen i don't care about being alone that's just me i i would say a few years ago years ago i was very dependent on like other people being around me but now listen I'm good with being by myself. Really enjoy yourself. Enjoy. You'll find out new things about yourself you didn't notice. And it's just amazing. Being by yourself is just amazing. There's so much to do in your alone time. Peak that I reached was when I started going out to eat by myself. When I unlocked that level, listen, there's no, there, <laughs> it's going to be hard to take me back from that. I'm not going to lie. I'm always happy when I'm surrounded by water. The ocean makes me feel really small and it puts my whole life into perspective. It reminds me, okay, I'm this very little piece of this huge earth and it humbles you and it grounds you and it, it makes me feel almost like I've been baptized and I'm born again when I get out of the ocean. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. This pretty much completes the video. As I said, my name is Kira Alexander. If you guys have any video suggestions or any other questions for me, definitely leave them down in the comments down below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you aren't subscribed because the girls is coming back. We are posting more frequently. We are definitely on this page. So I'm so excited to just be starting this new journey with you guys. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. Been too long for an so cheap and your flex so deep, sex so deep. You got it, girl, you got it. Hey. You got it, girl, you got it. Pretty little thing, you got a bag and now you wildin' You just took it off the line, no mileage Way ain't hitting you, the DM looking violent Talking while you come around and now you silent Flew the Cooper 17, no guidance You be staying low, but you know what the fight is Ain't never got you, know it being modest Poppin' shit, but only cause you know you poppin', mm, yeah You got it, girl, you got it Ay. You got it, girl, you got it